Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well and having a really great day in this video. I just wanted to give you guys an update of my crypto mining basement. I have actually been cleaning for the past week here and just getting everything, I guess, in a sense, just inventoried and just seeing how many GPUs I have offline right now. And I put all my GPUs that I have not running in one place and as well as, I guess, a few mining rigs that, I guess, open air that are not running as well because I am capped out in power. You guys know I moved out of my crypto mining garage. Recently, I've been making do in the barn the best I can. You guys saw that Ergo video that I did. I switched all my mining rigs in the barn to Ergo so that I could free up some power so that I could run my 6600 XTs on Neoxa, and that was awesome. But in this video, I want to do that, okay? That's going to be in another video. I'm going to convert all of my basement mining rigs to Flux or Ergo. But the thing is, I want to see if I can lower the power consumption when I switch to those algorithms and hopefully turn on some of my other mining rigs here. Like you guys know, my white 6x3060 Ti mining rig, I love this thing. It's been off for a long time now. And then I have another mining cave mining rig here. These are 3060s and I got 3070 Ti in here. And then I have a 6x3070 Ti Zotac rig that has been off for a while as well because where I am mining, I am just pretty much maxed out in this location. And hopefully most of you know that I am moving to a new place very soon, which has 400 amps of power. And I am keeping the basement location as well as the barn location in case anyone was asking. So I'm still gonna have that. So at my new 400 amp mining house location, I will most likely bring over the mining rigs that I don't have on here. Like these ones here and uh, these GPUs, which I do wanna go through and talk about potentially giving away because I just have too many here. Some of them are old, you know, 1070s, 1060s, 580s, and uh, some other GPUs, which I wanna talk about later. Uh, in this video. So guys, before I do that, this video is sponsored by the GPU hanger. Misfit Mining and the Meterbox company have partnered up to bring back the GPU hangers better than ever. The iconic Misfit Mining GPU hanger is now going to be PVC injection molded, making them stronger and more heat resistant than ever before. This project will be 100% community funded and produced once our goal is met. As a thank you for all your support, we are running a massive giveaway for the entire month of September, giving away over $7,000 in prizes like the iPolo V1 Mini, Mini Classic Plus, G1 Mini, tons of meter boxes, GPU hangers, and limited edition NFTs. Check out the new GPU hanger and enter this amazing giveaway. No purchase is necessary. You may also purchase additional items for even better chances to win. The GPU hanger contest is worldwide extending through September 30th. Winners will be publicly announced on October 5th. Are you guys ready for the Ethereum merge? Are you ready to turn off your mining rigs? Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to turn off my mining rigs. All right guys, so I wanted to go through some of the GPUs I have here. And actually before I do that, somebody sent me six 6600 XT pulse cards. Uh, it had no like return label or anything like that. I don't know who this came from. So somebody sent me six of these and I was, I was just shocked. I'm like, what, why, who did this? Who sent me 6600 XTs? I didn't get any email, nothing, no private message. So I think it's a secret admirer of some sort. Somebody decided to send me six of these 6600 XT Sapphire Pulses. These are pretty nice. I actually have six of these myself. Uh, but actually, my six that I have are all Micron memory, so they're not as uh, they're not as great as my Samsung memory 6600 XT. So I'm gonna assume that these Sapphire Pulse ones are Micron, uh, which I think they take a little bit more power than the Samsung memory ones, obviously. All right, so whoever sent this to me, let me know in the comments. I I'm like. I don't know what to say here. I'm at a loss for words at, as to why someone would send me six of these. And yeah, just, just I wanna know. Somebody, please let me know. Please let me know. So with getting those six 6600 XTs, which I, I feel like I don't deserve, I don't know why someone would do that, is I want to give away some GPUs. And just to start off how I'm gonna do that, 
I'm going to be doing live streams on my live stream YouTube channel. So link down below to subscribe to that specific YouTube channel. Guys, that's where I'm going to be going live and we'll be doing the giveaways live. I'm going to be like getting videos from various creators out there and then we're going to like sub bomb them and then you're going to comment on their video and then we're going to do common picker during the live stream you have to be there in the live streams when I'm going to be doing the giveaway obviously we, we've done that multiple times before in the past so really the same format but it's not going to be on my red panda mining channel here it's going to be on my red panda mining live YouTube channel okay that's where I do all my live streams now guys link down below go subscribe to that we're going to have some fun I'm probably going to give away a GPU like every week all right every single week so let me just go through. I got 1070s, which I did say I was going to give away in Christmas time uh, back, I think, the beginning of this, this year. This is the uh, 8x1070s that were solo mining flux. And we ultimately shut down that rig and we replaced it with other GPUs that were more efficient than these 1070s. Okay, and it, it's in one of those uh, X8 Ultras somewhere. So we're gonna do that in the next little bit here. I'm gonna give away these 1070s. I wanna give away some of these 1060s as well. I got a bunch of RX 580s. I wanna give away as well 470s. I'm probably gonna keep one of these just so that I have one. I'm probably gonna keep one of every single one just cause I am gonna make some like GPU mining like emporium or museum or something at my new house. I'm gonna have all the different GPU variations and yeah, I just I just wanna have like every single model of GPU out there. I got a RX 6500 XT, I believe. I don't think I'm gonna give this away, but I'm just stating the offline GPU here. Uh, what else I got? I got a Gigabyte 30HX. This is a NVIDIA CMP card. Yeah, I'm probably gonna keep this one, but yeah, I'm gonna go into the museum. And then I have some 5700s. So yeah, RX 5700s. I'm probably gonna give some of these away. Yes, I will, I will. I'm gonna keep one, obviously. And then the next part here, I got a, uh, what's this? Ah, uh, this is a, another GTX 1060, but this is a six gigabyte card. So these ones here are 1060 three gigabyte cards. So I'm probably gonna keep one of these obviously and then keep one of the three gigabyte cards. I have a RTX 3080. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna give that away. Maybe in a big giveaway, I'm not sure. I have a 6800, I have a 6700 XT and an RX 5700. I guess I have five 5700s here. You guys know my red devil. So I got a bunch of GPUs here that I just wanna slowly start giving away. I'm probably not going to give away this one. This is the Noctua RTX 3070. Uh, this is like the golden like silicon lottery. This thing takes like 100 watts. Like it's very, very low power consumption when it's mining. So the silicon in this one is just amazing. Just amazing. So there you guys go. I have these ones. I have a RTX 3090 Ti. I'm obviously not giving away this one because I paid way too much for it and I am gonna use this in my main like gaming slash editing uh, PC when I, when I eventually get to making a new computer. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for all the hardware. I, I guess including my offline GPUs here, the 6x3060 Ti's, these are the Zotac white edition ones with the crappy fans, but they haven't turned yellow yet at all, so that's a good sign. And yeah, these are actually Hynix memory. I'm not very fond of the 3060 Ti's that have Hynix memory. They do take a bit more power, but when I convert my OctaMiners to Auto Lycos, the Ergo algorithm, I wanna see how much power we knock off amongst all those, and then I can probably turn this on, and then we can see how much uh, hash rate these can get on Ergo. And then I have a bunch of 3060s here, 3070 Ti, uh, 3070 Ti rig here. I wanna move this to Ergo as well. And then this is the $11,000 May 2021, when this rig was built in May 2021, worth 11 grand. So it's mining Ethereum all the way to the end, and then I'm gonna have an update video of which coin we're gonna move to and see which, uh, see which coin, yeah, that we're gonna believe in that we can hopefully break even on 11 grand or not break even at all. But we're gonna huddle all the coins that this rig has mined thus far. Okay, so I'll have an update video about that. I promised myself at the new mining location where I have the new 400 amp service that I'm not gonna be doing any server case mining over there, okay? 
I'm going to be relying on like open air frames or maybe no frames at all doing like cardboard or MDF or something. I want to go back to open air frames because simply I miss open air rigs and open air frames. And you guys know I have a bunch of open air frames in the barn and so I do want to move all of those rigs to my new mining location and uh, yeah I'm going to do a lot of content of I guess well depending on if everything is still profitable or not after the merge then i can maybe turn some of these gpus on but as of right now i think six more days until the ethereum merge it's not looking too great it's not looking too good in terms of profitability but stay tuned my new mining location is getting internet very soon and then i will probably be moving over a lot of my like asic miners over there and uh, obviously some of my gpu mining rigs you guys know my at miner e9 this thing is still going mining ethereum to the end uh, in the silicon A10s. Actually, these are off right now because I want to free up some power and I uh, have a bunch of the iPolos, which are all going to go uh, to my new mining location. And I do also have a bunch of other ASICs over here HS Lite, LT Lite, Doge Pro, and KD Box Pro. Uh, these are all going to go. These are not on, obviously, because I don't have enough power in this location here in the basement. So, yeah, guys, this is my basement thus far. I cleaned up a good amount, uh, probably not the best that I can do yet, but I am going to do a video soon of taking down my wall and uh, just turning off everything, taking everything out, and I'm going to put a new shelf, like a husky shelf, metal shelf, where uh, I can put my Octaminers a lot higher and, uh, and I'll have another space below for more rigs uh, if I can fit it. And yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically it guys. That's a little update of my crypto mining basement. and. Please subscribe to my Red Panda Mining Live YouTube channel. Have it linked down below. That's where I'm gonna do live streams. Make sure you click the bell so you get the notification of when I go live. I'll be doing the giveaways pretty random. I'm not quite sure when, but like I said, I'll try to do at least one a week, all right? I'll give away one a week. So make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. The content will still be coming, guys. Content is still going every day, every single day. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Have a good one and peace out. Seriously, who sent me these? Who sent me these 6600 XTs? Somebody, please. Let me know. I need to send these back.